Hey guys, it's Erin Brenhouse from the Wildflowers Creative Team. Let's jump into Scraffito Week Part 2. Hey everyone, let's get started by showing you my Pinterest inspiration. I am inspired by this Scraffito mug. It is a ceramic glaze that is scratched out to create a pattern. We're going to create these awesome birch trees today on our set of nails inspired by this mug. We are going to begin with an almond nail in a box and the black gel polish from Wildflowers, which is called Void. So we're going to do that in two thin coats, curing for 30 seconds in between in an LED light or 60 seconds in a UV light. These are super pigmented gel polishes. A little goes a long way. You do not need to apply it thick. Um, just apply two nice thin coats. Look at that coverage. It's a clear nail tip, so you can see just how beautifully pigmented it is. Let's get that little fluff off. There we go. And cure. Let's go in and give it a second coat of Void. Nice and thin as well. And this will give you the perfect full coverage that you're looking for. Super opaque black nail. Perfect for our design. And cure. If you've seen my hand-painted tutorials before, you'll know that I love to use the Wildflowers Matte Top Coat as a background uh, for any hand-painting designs. And since we're going to be hand-painting our birch trees, let's go ahead and do a nice layer of Matte Top Coat so that we have a nice smooth canvas, canvas to paint on. Again, this just needs a 30 second cure. Okay, so while that is curing, we're gonna get a mixture ready to create our design with. I wanted it to look like pottery, so I'm mixing a little bit of white artist gel paint, scraping the bottom of my jar here, <laughs> getting a little white artist gel paint, and I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of my new favorite color called Mist. This is like a light gray taupe color, and I just find that it really looks like that clay pottery type of color. So I'm gonna put some of that on my palette as well, some Mist, and we're gonna mix that with the White Artist Gel Paint so that it has the perfect like clay tone. So I'm just using my little spatula here the jewel spatula to mix our white with our mist gel polish just scraping that up flattening it out give it a good mix make sure it's blended nicely and that's the perfect color for our ceramic okay so let's make sure we get it all off the spatula so we don't waste all right, now we have our matte nail ready to go. And we're going to grab our magenta brush to do our shape of our tree. This is super easy, guys. You could look at a tree like on our Pinterest board or you could just wing it, freehand it. Let me show you how I'm loading up my brush. I'm just dipping into our mixture and really rolling my brush in the mixture we could have a nice amount of gel on the brush to create the outline for the tree so i am going to start with we'll do two trees just like in the image i'm gonna start with the first tree and oops let's make sure i'm in frame and we're gonna start more than halfway up the nail and create it doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line but almost a vertical line that's a little wobbly goes a little bit to the right at the bottom and now we're just going to do the same thing on the other side so decide how thick you want your tree to be your tree trunk I'm going to apply a vertical line parallel to the first one and now we're going to create like some branches going one to one way and one the other way this one's going to go all the way across the nail all the way to the top corner Okay, just fix my line. 
And now let's do the top line of that branch. And it's going to go from thick to thin as the branch tapers out. So decide where you want it. And then get thinner and tapered as you go towards the end of that branch. Now we're just going to connect the top of that tree to the top of our nail. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, creating a nice little skinny branch going off in the other direction. So I'm just going to turn my nail upside down. And I'm going to pull that tree trunk higher and pull off a branch to the side. And we'll decide where we want the branch to start. So I'm going to make my tree trunk. And then create the branch. Like so. So there we go. We have our first tree. You can cure this at this point or you can keep going. I'm going to keep going and create my second tree. Same way as before, I'm going to decide, um, like, I'm going to do my trunk first. So there's the left side of the tree and the right side. It's okay if it's coming off the side of the nail or running out of space. Totally fine. And then I'm going to create my branch coming off this way. It's just kind of going off the side of the nail. Bring that birch trunk all the way to the top of the nail. even going behind the tree branch that we have from before. And let's pull this one like so. Just making my little tree trunk behind that original branch that we drew. I'm just using the magenta brush with a little bit of that mixture that I made, the white and the mist together. It makes a really nice consistency. You don't need to worry about it um, moving around. It's nice and thick. It's not going to move around on us. Uh, so we have our background of our tree. Looks good. And I'm going to go ahead and cure this. Okay, so now we're going to create the scratch marks, uh, which would be part of this graffito where you would scratch out the pottery. Or if you're actually talking about the birch tree, we're going to create the texture from the, from, the, from the bark. So I've switched over to my black mini mini brush so that I could have a little bit more precision to get started. Still using that same mixture of white and mist. There's more than enough to do the nail. There's going to be leftover. And all I'm going to do is load up the tip of my brush with just a little bit of that mixture. Not too much, not too little. And we're going to create, um, we're going to go along one side of the, of the trunk and then along the other side of the trunk, moving towards the center. So decide which side we're going first. We'll start with the left. And I'm just going to use the Black Mini Mini and create marks like little scratches going inside towards the center of the nail. It's okay if some of them are longer, shorter. We're going to switch over to the magenta brush as well, but we're going to get started with just those marks. Add a little bit more gel to your brush if you like. Some of those scratchy marks can be more opaque. Some of them are going to be a little bit... Um, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're going to be a little bit more sheer almost. A little bit more transparent. It's almost like a deeper scratch that the artist has. That's good. Now we're going to switch over to the other side and move from the right side inwards as well. Same thing, just a little bit of gel on my brush. And I'm not going into the limbs of the tree yet, just the trunk. And just get your little scratchies in. Some could be longer towards the center of the, of the trunk. Some could be 
short just to the side. Okay, and that's really starting to look like a birch tree. Again, I'm just gonna go to the top. Get my little scratchies into the top of the trunk like that. Now you can always switch over at this point. Get your magenta brush. Put a little bit of gel, same mixture, on the on the magenta. And you can go in and create some sharper lines, some pointier lines that are going through your trunk if you like. This is an optional step. But it does add a little bit more detail if you like. Now we're going to go into the trunk, I mean into the limbs, into these branches, and you're going to choose one side of the branch that has the texture. So for this branch over here, we're going to go on the bottom side of the branch, which is like going to come upwards. So I'm going to put a, just a little bit of gel on my brush, and these lines are going to start to come upwards into the branch, like that see how that starts to come together we're going to do the same thing on the branch on this side but i'm going to do it the other way i'm going to make the texture coming from the top down so we're just going to turn our brush it makes it easier for us and get some of that texture in coming downwards now we have this center piece right here that needs some needs some bark needs some texture so i'm just going to go back in now and just put add a little bit and that definitely brings ties it all together let's pop this in a light for a cure and then we'll do the same thing on the other tree okay that's cured and now we're going to do the same thing on the other side for the other birch tree dipping a little bit into our into our paints and coming up one side of the tree trunk first with our black mini mini brush just making little little dashes little lines going up the inside of your branch and we're going to do the top flip it over to do your other side And I will come in with the magenta brush and add a little bit of details in a minute. But it's a lot faster to slap on that texture with the black mini mini brush. It's going to take a lot more time if you use the magenta for the whole thing. But it is definitely a good idea for some details. So I'm going to just switch over, roll that into a little bit of paint, and pull a little bit of some longer lines Sorry, I thought I saw something in the basement. I'm imagining things. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Doing nails and hearing a ghost. <laughs> All right, so that looks awesome. We have our birch trees, and we're going to pop that for a cure, and then we can top coat it. For Scraffito nails, you can definitely go matte or shiny. The glaze is usually shiny. The scratched out part is matte. So it's really a matter of personal choice. I'm going to go with matte today for our design make our trees matted out so all we need to do is put a nice thin layer of matte top coat over the whole thing I love how that color turned out it's not too white it's not stark white but it's not as um, taupe as missed by itself it's a really good combination i find for this design so let's pop this in the light and turn it into a matte nail this is what it would look like shiny but let's show you what it'll look like matte here we go guys this is the finished look i definitely prefer it matte i love it like this gives it even more of like a tree vibe i hope you guys try this one be sure to use our hashtag this week wf scraffito and we will see you on the next video. Have an awesome week, guys. Bye.